everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure and I wanted to show you my new um, solid fuel backpacking stove. Many of you may know it by the name Esbit. Esbit makes a stove and has made one since the, the mid 30s. And it's a tiny stove, about the size of a deck of cards. Very simple to use, very um, problem free. You just pull the two sides apart and rotate it like that and there's your stove and your pot just goes on top. There's not much to it. <coughs> For fuel, um, this is a military surplus stove so uh, comes a bit different than the single capsule ed esbit stoves. This is a bar and it says to use a third of a bar or more about two inches below the stove. Alright, so I'm going to open that up now. Inside you can see the the bar and it's a bit different colored and I'm going to use a third of the bar now. Well it's started to rain now so I'm just going to light the stove and put two cups of water on to see how long it takes to boil. And that li lit immediately. All right, we are a bit out of focus there for a minute. So I've lit the stove, and I've put the pot just on top, and we'll see how long it takes to boil this. Now, the instructions say that if you let any of this dust get in the water, it's, well, it's gonna be toxic, so make sure you keep your pot away from your fuel until it's lit, and then wash your hands before you start messing around with anything else. So it's a bit scary that way, but um, people use it because it's very light and having said that it's not super efficient from what I've read but we'll find that out now. Now you probably can't see any flames right now. They're blue flames coming out of the side. It's a bit windy too so that's going to slow down the boil. At five minutes we're almost out so I'm just going to drop the rest of this bar in. And that was quick. In addition to those purple military surplus fuel bars, I have this pack that came with it of, of white. It's a different chemical combination uh, fuel bars. They're about a quarter inch thick. And they used a one and a half by one and a half inch square previously. And it burned for about eight minutes in total so it might be um, a bit different to get the Esbit fuel squares so you'll be able to see them online and I post a link to it on my website as well all right we're up to 10 minutes now and it's just about ready to come to a boil let's see if you can get that in there hasn't even started boiling yet after 10 minutes um, pretty underwhelmed all right, finally 11 minutes and it started to boil. Uh, in just a minute, I'm going to try it again with that other fuel that I mentioned, this white packet there, and see if that does any better on an official test. All right, so this is what the other fuel tablets look like. They're a bit harder to start. I just thought I should mention that right now I am at 3,200 meters or 10,500 feet right now. So that's obviously going to affect the time. And that's why I've been doing a whole bunch of different tests with different stoves at this altitude to see how they function in relation to each other. I've been using the same amount of water and um, the same temperature water in all my tests. Now it's up to just about 10 minutes. I haven't had to add any more fuel but it's almost out and I don't think it's actually even going to uh, come to a boil yet although it's very close. It's not that quick of a stove so if you're taking this with you you're doing so because A the stove is light and the fuel is light and B, it's easy to start on fire. It didn't take much to light it with a lighter. So why would you use this? Well, 
shorter trips if you don't like carrying alcohol fuel around with you and you can't make a fire and you've got a bit of spare time on your hands. It does go to show though the military doesn't always get the best things because the people that pr supply them are usually the lowest bidder. Um, having said that, it does work. It works fine. It just takes a bit longer. Mm -hmm.